depression is a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel the way you think and how you act and these days one in six people will experience depression at some point of time in their life it can occur any time it causes feeling of sadness or a loss of interest in activities once you enjoyed it can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems and can decrease your ability to function at work and at home people with depression often experience symptoms like they feel sad or have a depressed mood they lose interest or pleasure in activities once they enjoy changes in appetite trouble sleeping or at times sleeping too much loss of energy or increased fatigue slowed movements or speech feeling worthless or guilty difficulty thinking concentrating or making decisions and in fact in severe cases thoughts of death or suicide depression can be a serious mental illness that causes real pain for the people who have it and for their loved ones it is one of the most common mental disorders these days a lot of people don't even know that they're suffering from depression and a lot of them don't expect it that they are suffering from it as i think it's a mental illness and they feel embarrassed people feel shy about seeking medical advice or meeting a counselor it's very important to accept it if someone is having depression or anxiety to treat it first you yourself need to accept then only you can work over it depression is a complex disease it can happen for a variety of reasons people who are elderly are at higher risk of depression that can be made worse by other factors such as living alone and having a lack of social support physical sexual or emotional abuse can make you more vulnerable to depression later in life set back in a relationship can also lead to depression sadness or grief after the death or loss of a loved one can increase the risk of depression women are about twice as likely as men to become depressed due to the hormonal changes that women go through at different times of their lives at times losing a job or income getting divorced or retiring can lead to depression problems such as social isolation due to other mental illness or being cast out of a family or social group can also lead to depression at times depression happens along with a major illness or maybe trigger by another medical condition so first of all it is very important that one need to identify life problems that contribute to depression identify issues in life that feed into depression and learn how to avoid behaviors that make these problem worse when you are depressed you may feel like you can't accomplish anything that makes you feel worse about yourself to push back set goals for yourself write it down somewhere and try to work on them 
Take the ways to accomplish your goals. Start doing exercise. Just come out of the room. Don't isolate yourself. Do whatever in which you feel good. Whether you want to play a sport or you want to do yoga, you want to hit a gym, do whatever which makes you feel good, which makes you happy. Regular exercise seems to encourage the brain to rewire itself in positive ways. It boosts feel-good chemicals called endorphins. Depression can make it hard to get enough sleep and too little sleep can make depression worse. So try to go to bed early and get up at the same time and try not to take a nap. It would affect your sleep pattern and you will have difficulty sleeping at night. Try not to watch TV, computer or phone at the time when you are going to bed. In fact, at that time, try to read books. You may find that your sleep improves. When you are depressed, you may want to pull back from life and responsibilities at home and at work. But don't do that. Try to take control over your mind. Get involved and take daily responsibilities. This can help you maintain a lifestyle that can help counter depression. They ground you and give you a sense of accomplishment. Start meditation as it relaxes and clears your mind by focusing on the breath, a word or a mantra. It trains to focus attention on the moment which helps to cultivate an attitude of openness and acceptance which may have antidepressant effects. Try listening to music. It improves the moods of people which promotes relaxation and positivity. Don't isolate yourself. Try to meet your friends and spend time with your family. Take it out, open up your heart or share your story with the person whom you trust or else just sit in front of God and speak out. Speak out whatever you are feeling. You will feel so relaxed. You will feel so light. Try to go to parties or other social gatherings. In fact, it is quite challenging when a person is depressed. But it's very important. In fact, connecting with others can act as a natural treatment for depression. Try to engage yourself. What are the plans? Fix a problem at your house. Offer help to someone or volunteer in your community. Spend time with your pets. So these are the few ways by which you can treat depression naturally without taking any medication.